One of the things I think that always put off casual flyers with flight simulators is that the terrain generally looked like someone vomited vegetables and then smeared it over a table. But now, thanks to Ortho 4XP and X-Plane 11, it's possible to grab satellite image data and stick it directly into the simulator. The combination of this satellite imagery with X-Plane 11's incredible Autogen technology which places buildings, trees, roads and power cables exactly as they're placed in the real world makes the surface look pretty much photorealistic. And for those that are budget conscious and not completely invested into plowing their entire income into flight simulator add-ons, you'll be glad to know that other than the license for X-Plane 11, this is all completely free. In the footage that you're watching now, you can see that we're in the south of England flying above Maidstone. And in the centre of your view, you can see the River Medway, which goes from river to canal. And it's a canal that I'm very familiar with because my canoe managed to deflate and I ended up going for a nice swim in the tropical, completely disease-free, rat-infested waters. Rather than myself making a tutorial video on how to get Ortho 4XP to work, I'll put a link in the video description to Lunar's World, who's put a really good tutorial video together which explains the entire process of how to grab the images, uh, the tool, how to use the tool, and how to then get it all working in the simulator. Now, as a word of warning, it is a little bit fiddly to get things working, but having said that, Lunar's World's video is really good and uh, does make the process a lot easier to understand. And then, other than that, it can take quite a while for your computer to both download and then process the satellite imagery. In our case, because we decided to do the entirety of the southeast of England, it took about six hours to uh, have that all done and then be ready in the sim. Fortunately, Ortho 4 XP has this in mind and you can just leave it on in the background overnight, churning away, destroying your internet connection, so that in the morning you can be arisen by the fact that you can now fly over your house or any piece of land that you want to in the entirety of the world. Outside of the basic spectacle and uh, just the fact that you can do it, I think there's also a bit of genuine utility to this in that sure you can look at satellite imagery and even in some ways have higher quality 3D models of buildings and locations with something like Google Maps. But by flying over it in an aeroplane that has a very defined speed in X-Plane 11, you get a somewhat better appreciation for the scale, proportion and uh, the actual reality of the real world location. And for someone like me that likes to do a lot of pottering around in the countryside, I think flying to the location first and having a look at it from the air will really help me not get lost, but also just help me appreciate it more when I'm on the ground walking around in flatland. Before I finish the video, I also just wanted to show off how absolutely stunning X-Plane 11 looks at night. And uh, even if you don't get the photographic images, uh, you, you simply have to try the demo at least, which I'll put in the video description, to see how incredible the OSM Autogen technology is with all the things like car lights, building lights, and uh, how you can essentially fly by dead reckoning just from all the street light lighting. Um, absolutely mind-blowingly incredible. And even better if you use Fly Inside Flight Sim X uh, and Fly Inside X-Plane to play this in virtual reality. So if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button I put on the screen. Also check out our other videos on the channel and uh, I will see you very soon indeed. Until the next video, goodbye.